Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hooks tutorial for beginners and this is our part 4. In this video session guys, we will discuss about admin menu action hook. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our other playlist to get the clear concept about WordPress hooks tutorial. So basically guys what is admin menu action hook so basically if you want to register any menu page at our administrator panel of our WordPress setup then this action hook will actually works okay so if you go to administrator panel this is our WordPress setup okay so if you want to suppose register any of the menu page suppose inside this list so by the help of admin menu action hook we can add our custom admin menu page here Okay. and also along with that we have to use our WordPress function called add menu page okay so if you go to the documentation this is the link guys that I have specified right here okay so if I copy this link go to browser and open open that page so this is the function okay so by the help of this function and also with the action hook called admin menu we can add our admin menu page at our administrator panel okay so if you go to editor so basically guys this is the plugin so far that we have developed okay inside our part 2 video session we have seen about init action hook and in the third video session guys we have discussed about widgets and init action hook okay so in, inside this video session guys means part number 4 we have to add our admin menu page okay so let's make a function so let's function OWT let's say custom menu okay so inside this callback function guys first of all we have to attach this function with our action hook called add menu okay so let's say admin and menu we have to pass this function as the callback function for this action hook okay so inside this function block guys we have to code to write to add our admin menu page at administrator panel okay so just back to documentation we have to use call this function okay so if you go to editor let's say that add menu page okay this is the function that we are going to use okay inside the first parameter guys we have to pass called the page title okay so let's that OWT hooks or let's say that OWT playlist okay in the second parameter guys we have to pass called the menu title okay so same if you copy this page title and paste inside this menu title this is called OWT playlist in the third parameter guys we have to pass called the capability label it means that the user label okay so we want that for the admin for manage options we have to pass in the fourth parameter guys we have to pass called the menu slug okay here we have to pass the menu slug so let's say OWT let's say playlist this is the menu slug that we have developed okay inside the next parameter we have to pass called the callback function so let's say that OWT playlist and function okay this is the callback function next two parameters guys actually are the optional parameters you can pass according to you use okay so we are not going to pass all these parameters okay so if you go to the documentation study as we can see that this is icon URL and the position okay these are optional parameters okay so we are not going to pass all these things so just I'm going to copy this callback function first of all we have to define this function okay so let's say function this is our callback function for our menu and let's say that echo this is our admin menu page okay admin menu page so if we save this file go to browser administrator panel and reload this page so once we reload guys as we can see OWT playlist this is the menu page that we have developed once we click on that as we can see that this is the slug that we have added called OWT playlist this is the page slug or this is the menu slug okay and this is the content actually fired when we call our callback function for this menu page also guys we can add our menu or sub menu page inside OWT playlist okay so if we back to editor let's we want to add some of the sub menu pages for this menu tab okay so let's add so for that we have a function in WordPress called add sub menu page okay basically this function will add the sub menu inside this menu page okay so first parameter we have to pass called the parent slug okay so basically we are going to add with this menu tab so here is the slug that we have passed called OWT playlist okay so it seems to be a parent slug for this sub menu page so in the first parameter we have to pass that second parameter we have to pass the sub menu page okay means the page title so let's say that sub menu 1 okay next parameter we have to pass called the page title okay or sub menu title 
okay this is page title and this is the menu title so next parameter we have to pass called the capability manager okay so let's say manage options next we have to pass called the sub menu slug okay so let's say sub menu 1 next parameter we have to pass called the callback function for this sub menu so let's say OWT sub menu 1 and this is function okay basically this is the callback function for this sub menu so if we define that let's say function this is callback function and let's say echo this is our first sub menu page okay so if we save that reload this page here and now inside OWT playlist guys we have a sub menu right here so if we click on that this is first sub menu okay so basically guys this is not the video session about registering a menu and sub menu this is about admin menu action hook okay so basically admin menu sub menu actually admin menu basically this action hook will fire when our menu system of admin panel in slices okay so at the admin menu label we want to implement or add any of the menu page and sub menu page so we have to call those functions inside this action hook okay if suppose we want to register more menus while our plugin activation while our theme activation if suppose we have made our custom plugin we have made our custom theme so while activating those things if we slices our admin menu so at the menu level installation we are going to add those menu systems so we have to use this action hook okay so by the help of this video session guys actually i have made much more clear concept about admin menu and registering menu page and sub menu page Okay, so if you have any query in this video session guys, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.